My fellow Lions, Dr. V here with a COVID-19 update after our first week of remote instruction. First and foremost, I want to give a huge shout out to all our Lions staff in the district here. Teachers, maintenance, cafeteria workers, IT, you name it, they stepped up big, big time. I especially want to thank our students, Lions Nation. Man, couldn't ask for anything more. Some of the wonderful, wonderful remote lessons I saw from pre-K all the way up to 12th grade, unbelievable. Didn't expect anything different from Lions Nation, but phenomenal, phenomenal stuff. Special shout out to Mayor Spencer and Police Chief Morell. What tremendous, tremendous support they have given all of us here at Lions Nation. We needed extra crossing guards during the food distribution. Bang, without a moment's notice, we had extra crossing guards helping out. We needed additional police presence to help out with the food distribution. Bang, without a moment's notice, we had extra police distribution. It was great. Fantastic. Thank you again, Mayor Spencer and Police Chief Morell. Okay, let's go over the first week of COVID-19 remote learning. First and foremost, I want to remind everybody, let's continue to go to the web page and look at the COVID-19 web tab for updates. We will update this daily, um, at least weekly, but we're going to try and do it daily. They will be dated, so you won't have to figure out which one to click on. You can just click on the most recent date. We will also have a, another video that's labeled 320, March 20th, which is this video you're looking at right now. It will be here on the web tab for you. We added this mental and emotional health resources for COVID-19. It's just a nice little resource that Mrs. Raleigh and the special ed department has put together for you. It has tremendous links for different situations. Please feel free to browse that and look it over. You will be receiving this in an email and a voicemail if it hasn't gone out already. It's supposed to go out or has gone out around um, 4.30 on Friday, March 20th. Next, I want to talk about the new lunch distribution that we're going to start Monday, March 23rd. There's going to be a new lunch pickup distribution. That begins Monday, March 23rd. That's this Monday. First, the meal pickup will remain at GMS. It will remain at the middle school. Next, the pickup will only be one day a week, Mondays, every Monday beginning March 23rd from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. We also are encouraging and asking all parents or guardians to begin a drive through pickup. Please, if you can, bring a vehicle and pick the food up using your vehicle. It will be in the 6th Street parking lot by the middle school. The parking lot with the solar roof over it. The solar carport. I'll show you a diagram in a minute of pickup instructions. Pickup will consist of five breakfasts and five lunches. So when you come Monday, you will get a week's worth of breakfast and a week worth of lunch. And then the following Monday again, five breakfasts, five lunch. Following Monday, five breakfasts, five lunch. IT assistance will remain five days a week at the middle school. That will remain five days a week. Mondays and Fridays, 11 a.m. to 12 noon. Tuesday through Thursday, 3 o'clock to 4.30 p.m. For some of those parents that can't get there from 11 to 1. And then finally, if you cannot make a Monday, please try and make the Monday. But if you cannot make a Monday, please contact your building principal via email or voicemail. Let them know that you couldn't pick up the meal and arrangements will be made that you can pick it up on a Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday. Now, let's talk about the pickup routine. You will get on to 6th Street, and you will drive past the first entrance into the parking lot. You will drive past it. Continue up 6th Street 
and make a left into the second entrance into the parking lot. You will make a left into the parking lot, continue left, and come down where you can stop your car and someone will hand you the lunch meals. Once you pick up the lunch meals, you will continue down the 6th Street parking lot and then you will make a right on this back road that is behind the goalpost and parallel to New Jersey Avenue and you will follow that road out to 5th Street. When you get to 5th Street, you will make a left and then up to you, which is the best way to go on New Jersey Avenue, left or right, to exit. Once again, you will come up 6th Street, pass the first parking lot entrance, come to the second parking lot entrance, make a left into that entrance, come down, come to a complete stop, pick up your food, and then continue down the parking lot, make a right onto the back road that parallels New Jersey Avenue and is behind the football field and track, follow that road all the way out to 5th Street, and then exit along 5th Street. Lions, we can do this. We will do this. Lions Nation is strong. Stay strong, Lions Nations. And remember, always lion-hearted. Once again, I want to thank everybody for their efforts for this first week. It's been tremendous. It will get easier each day. And we will get through this. And we will. Have a tremendous remainder of the 2019-2020 school year. I hope everyone has a great Friday evening and a better weekend. And I'll see you there Monday, March 23rd, for the new lunch pickup. Remember, this is also coming to you voicemail, email, and through your text messages through the school messenger. Again, have a wonderful evening and a better weekend. And as always, Go Lions.